Hold up, people. Just before we start this episode, I want to quickly give a shout out to the new podcast that I've started with BD1P. The first episode came out today. It's on a brand new channel. It's called Inside Indie. Uh, I'll leave a link to the uh, podcast channel in the description and pinned in the comments of this video. Please do go and check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's about a two hour long video and it's kind of an introduction to what the podcast is going to be. We're going to be trying to upload it every two to four weeks, getting different guests on such as Kilburn, Alexa, and a few of the people that we have planned uh, down the road. But yeah, please do go and check it out. And anyways, over to uh, past me for the episode. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping back in again. And remember last time when we got seven Eden's Blessings? Yes, that's right. Seven. Well, we're going to be playing Job. We're going to be playing Job to the lamb with seven items to start and a trinket. God damn. Okay, so. <laughs> oh boy. This is already so spicy. Okay, so right off the bat, we got Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly is incredible. Then we got blank, which whenever we take damage, we're going to end up blanking. Then we got 10x bombs and bum friend, not so good. We got eye of greed, which is uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, we got the rose, which is another on hit item. Uh, chaos, heckin' chaos, oh my lord. Um, yeah, uh, do you know what, we'll take the rosary. And uh, yeah. On top of that, we also got Little Horn as well. And we started with the active item, the D20. So, yeah. This is pretty nuts. I actually I kind of love all the different... Oh, goddamn. Belly Jelly there. All the different active items. Uh, not active items. Like, on-hit items that we ended up getting. But Belly Jelly is so good. And look at that. Spoon Bender as well. Hell yes. Now, we are going to be poor as hell. Like, permanently. Because Eye of Greed is a little bit janky when it comes to... Uh, Spending your money, as you can see. But it does allow us to get a bit more money. And interestingly, it's going to allow us to do some weird stuff with the D20, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Let's reroll all these and see what we get. Of course, we got nothing. Um, we, we should actually bomb this, considering we have so many bombs. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is quite the start. I mean, I'm really happy to have um, Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly is a really good defensive item. Uh, also, a little horn plus uh, the, the, like... Haunted Rose, I think it's called. I think that is uh, when we get hit, we release ghosts, and uh, sometimes we have a chance to plant a ghost bomb, if I remember correctly. Look at that. <laughs> I just jelly bellied that guy straight into the fire. But yeah, homing is going to make uh, Eye of Greed way better, because we're going to hit a lot more of our shots. That does not mean we're going to hit all of our shots. Oh, we need to be um, remembering to use our, uh, use our book all the time, because I forgot it's a slowly diminishing... It's a slowly diminishing fire rate rather than, like, a static one-room buff. So, we're fine to, like, overuse it. And we got duality here as well. This is wacky as shit, which makes Rosary really good, actually. Um, and we're going to the lamb here. Of course, we always go downpour, because I quite actually like downpour. But, yeah, Eye of Greed. Oh, 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 oh the absolute... <laughs> Now, one problem that we kind of have is Bumfriend is going to be picking up all the pennies that we could be D20ing, which is, of course, not great, but there you go. We're just going to have to deal with that as it comes. Um, ooh, Dirty Penny is... Do you know what? Dirty Penny is actually better than the Rosary, I think, just because it can create some really, really wacky stuff for us in the fact that we can get pennies that we then pick up that then give us dips. I don't believe it can give you anything other than default dips, if I remember correctly at least. So it's not like we're going to be getting like crazy weird dips all the time here. But the only thing is, yeah, we're going to have to kind of sacrifice our health sometimes in order to make sure we get the money rather than um, our little fella. We got hand-me-downs here. Hand-me-downs is kind of interesting. I don't think it's that good. I actually think we might be better off taking the notched axe than the D20. While the D20 is pretty good. Ooh, what's this? Um, explosive enemies die on their own. Explosive enemies have uh, the weakness effect. I'll take it. Why not? Why not? It's not great, but it's decent. It's decent. And it gives us some bombs to go at. But yeah, I might want to go with the notched axe instead so we get a few more secret rooms. Because the thing is, I kind of had a, this, this cool idea with the D20. But I just don't think it's going to be possible to make it work regularly. 
just because we can't really reroll money all that often. Potato peeler here, um, I'll use at least once. Just for a damage up. We, we're probably not going to go devil deals because there's just no... There's not really much point. I wouldn't say there's no point. There's not really much point. God damn, so many dips. This is great. I'm loving this. But yeah, we only get one penny off of a boss by the looks of it. But yeah, bomb friend could actually end up being quite good as well. Like, let's not disrespect. Jelly Belly there doing its thing. Mum's bracelet. Okay. Right, we'll go Angel Deal first off, and we get Black Doll. There you go. Um, yeah, okay. And have I decided what I want to do yet? First of all, let's check our dice room. Just because if it's a if it's like a reroll every item on the floor sort of deal, we could do some cool stuff with that. We should also try and find our secret rooms, really, which is kind of why I want to buy Notched Axe. It's unfortunately a one room, which is not really what I'm looking for. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to push these chests out. I'm going to try. There you go. Okay, we got most of the bombs back for doing that, so let's just be happy that that worked out somewhat. Damn it, you such a stupid idiot. I'm going to keep using bombs to get this chest out here, because we get two of them for it. And you see, you see, it ended up all working out, kind of. Hey, little ghosty buddies. Right. Do I want Notched Axe? I kind of do, yeah. Let's see if we can get it through, through, via this. We can't. We're going to have to blow this up, which makes me sad, because my donation machine has taken quite the hit recently. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Just D20 just isn't really good enough, I don't think. Especially when we have the ability to find secret rooms so easily now. We should maybe try and, like, put into my donation machine a little more as we go forward here, but... Whatever. Boom, bow. Okay, secret room is... Nah, or... Nah. It's neither. Okay, um... Hmm. Little confused as to where second secret room is now. I'm gonna guess it has to be here. That's a weird spot for second secret room. Uh, but we did get a lot of good stuff in here. Just don't use solar of the Al because it will uh, crash our game. We know this is a fact now. We will use that though. And we will use that. And we'll take this. Okay. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Let's uh, Let's bounce. Yeah, full run reroll is actually kind of up my alley, but I'm not rerolling chaos. I want chaos. Chaos is so fun. If you get it on the first floor like we did as well, it's just one of those ones that you want to keep. If we had ice the, the cube baby, I would take Mum's bracelet in a heartbeat, but we don't. If I end up getting it during this run, I'm going to be very upset that I didn't take it. But I do think we have a better lot in life with um, Notched Axe here. But this is a very, just very fun run we got going on now. Some really interesting stuff going on. Obviously, we'll be breaking anything like that we find when we can. Good, good. Extra pennies. Oh, my God. Unfortunately, all those pennies are uh, bum friend fodder. But, like I said, it's not a bad thing, really. He's going to give us some good stuff eventually. Not yet, but eventually. Pop that again. I'm going to take this just for the look upgrade. I know it's not that valuable, but a look upgrade's a look upgrade. Why not? Okay. God, I love Spoonbender with this, fa this fast fire rate. It's so good. There you go. Get a judgment here. It's a card beggar. I think we can give him this. I do want to re-roll this. These, these guys did get nerfed, but <laughs> saying that. We do get a free item here. Of course, I was just about to say, it's not actually going to be that good of an item. Um, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's, ne it's never going to be an amazing item when you've got chaos. Ooh, ooh, yes. Yes, please. Little horn's awesome here. Cyan shots with Herming. I like it. Oh, 
Swallowed Penny there. I don't really care for Swallowed Penny all too much, to be honest. Another Penny. God damn, we just have this. It's, it's basically like we have Dirty Mind. It's so strong. It is so unbelievably strong. Ooh, Crawl Space. Hello. Oh. It's this Crawl Space. I can't believe that one still exists. So frustrating to find. Oh, what the hell just happened? Let me leave. Thank you. I couldn't see where the actual uh, trap door was because of all the uh, all the poops, all my dippy dippies. But yeah, Cyan Shot Sud should actually go ham here. But obviously the, we need luck to, to, to use them, which is why I bought the luck upgrade earlier. It's put us up to zero luck. I think this character starts with minus one. I didn't actually know that, but now I do, I guess. I feel stompy. I feel stompy. Beautiful. Good, good. Secret room. Beautiful. Ooh, interesting. This is an interesting room. Not that we need to use it the way the game intends. Oh, I don't even really need to do that. Oh, we got restock? Hell yeah. Restock's going to be so strong for us because obviously the item pools are going to be uh, working in our favor here. Right. Where you at, big boy? Didn't quite manage to hit him with the bomb there, but we did freeze him, which ended up letting us basically insta-kill him. It's rather nice. Urn of Souls. Urn of Souls. Now, okay, so we, now we've got real ghost bombs. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Urn of Souls. Urn of Souls. It's really good, but I think our current fire rate and everything just lends itself more to us firing normally and using our notched axe to get into secret rooms periodically. I think that's going to be a little better for us. Hopefully you guys agree with that, but either way. We do need some more HP, I'm noticing. We're not doing great on the HP front, but this is just an absolutely cracking run. It's so fun. I might as well check these while we're here, just because it's a dead end. Heals? I don't think so. Ooh, um, beggars have a chance. Okay, so we definitely want to get rid of uh, that one and smelt it up, at least. Because that, that trinket is pretty awesome. And we'll grab this. We'll grab that. Don't care about smelting another one. Smelting one's good enough for me right now. Get a fire rate going. You can have all of them pennies, little fella. See what you give us. Just stop giving us pills. God damn. Did I get hit by a champion enemy again? Whoa! I got hit loads of them. What just happened? I'm just going to start taking pills now because he just keeps giving me them. Oh, we gulped that. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. I'm really glad to be getting money when we have restock. I'm surprised. Do you know what would be a really good way to rebalance restock is in the item? Because I am um, in a in an interview that I did with him recently, which hopefully should be coming out soon. I don't know when. We've not really got a planned release schedule for it, to be honest. But um, he he did say that his least favorite item is restock. He just thinks it's a game-breaking item that he d doesn't really want in the game, but Edmund wanted it. Um, and uh, hmm. um, ooh, I hear the occult. Hell yes. Yeah, uh, one good way to fix it would just be make it so it just spawns a restock machine in every shop. Um, because they have limited use and the the price thing doesn't become as big of a concern for people that want to break the game. So it's still got the breakiness, but it's not quite as unlimited as it was before. It doesn't quite have the potential to give you as much stuff, but it's still very good sort of thing. Rib of Greed here is incredible. That's good. That's good. That's good. Pretty happy with our haul there. Oh my lord. That's some high ass fire out right there. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm going to say number one with either occult. The range down doesn't really matter all that much to us. Right, let me just quickly check on these. Lovely. Whoa. I was just about to say, what is this room? I'm fairly sure it's the room that I made, so. What's this? Right. 
I don't know what this other heart that I just got was, but it's, it's covered my black heart in little red flies, so that's intriguing. The fire rate we have right now is obscene. It's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Excuse me! <laughs> this is not how this boss works. Stop giving me pills! <gasps> Mysterious liquid, so good with what we got going on right now. Holy hell. That does work on that. Okay. Wait, so... I'm a little confused. Let, let's actually go and let's get, do, go and do some research. Uh, repentance plus mod consumables. Is it on consumables or is it on pickups? I think it's on pickups, isn't it? Uh, pickups another. And let's see what this heart is. I go down to the hearts. It's called the Empty Heart. Has a 7.5% chance to replace Rotten Hearts. Always occupies your rightmost soul or black heart or filled red burn heart, red heart or burn heart container. Disappears when the heart is attached to... Heart attached is fully depleted. For every empty heart container the player possesses, they gain one Abyss Locust when entering a new floor. Ooh. Okay. Obviously, that doesn't really matter for us right now, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I think it will trigger here, right? It did. It triggered. Nice. Oh, yeah. Mysterious Liquid. So good for us right now. But yeah, our Black Heart like, evolved into a Burn Heart. Either that or I picked up a Burn Heart I just didn't see. Oh, my lord. I may have just picked up a Burn Heart I didn't see. That's very, very, very possible. Oh, I really want Stopwatch. Oh, the shop is more important right now. Shop is definitely more important. Uh, yes, I will indeed grab that. Gluttony soul. Good to go. Stop killing my buddies. My little poopy friends. Sadly, nothing from this. Strength card isn't really my gem. Oh god, that's close. God damn, the more money we can rack up, the better here. Shops are just going to be so valuable for us. Just remember, we lose money when we get hit. Uh, well, sorry, when we uh, when we fire a uh, thingy tier. Not when we get hit. You know what I mean. You know you know what I'm trying to say. If we fire one of those and don't hit an enemy, we lose money. Whoopsie. That's not what I wanted to do. Got Nugget here. See, now Nugget's a fire rate down. But I actually think it's going to be really good with this setup, potentially. Farting baby is just hilarious. Hey, excuse me, sir. Do not take all my pennies. What we got here? Picking up an active item for the first time gives you a respective wisp. I kind of think River Greed's more, more my style right now. Oh, we got um, some shoes. Reduces the size of all enemies by 10%. Mm, I don't really know why you'd want to do that. The unknown. Okay, we have a lot of money now. Good, good. This this chest just keeps going. Chest just keeps on going. My god. Holy hell. It just... It's still going. I'm going to get hit here. Yeah, I was going to say, there's basically no way out of that, is there? Okay, it's finally done. I think this one's done already. Okay. Okay, so for normal tiers, it's, it's not great. For, like, normal shots, it's a little sad. But for the actual nugget shots, it's pretty good. Right, let's get back to our shop here. Yeah, I've, I've neutered myself quite a lot by taking nugget here. Uh, especially considering I've got notched axe, really, because I don't need the... I don't need the ability to, to break rocks, really. I mean, it's nice. Ooh, okay. We should, uh, try and play this guy a little bit. Again, first, though, let's find our shop. I mean, with... With the 7 fire rate, it's pretty good. 
We've actually got a card here to go straight to our shop, so why not? Mm, I'm gonna buy camo undies just to see what's underneath. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> Let's go and try and get a thingy. There is another enemy alive in here, okay. Do, 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 do. Right, pop that again. Once we get this popped, we, we kind of go crazy. We, we get insane fire rate. And with Herming, it's pretty good. I do fear a little bit for my wallet. We're not hitting our tears as much anymore. Grab that. Pop that. Ah! Oh! Um... Our fire rate seems to be stuck at 7.5. Okay. I don't know what's going on with that now. It doesn't see, Our bucket of spare doesn't seem to deteriorate over time anymore. It just seems to be a flat on or off. But our base fire rate has drastically increased. Right. Let's try and win this bad boy. I was just about to say, don't take all my money. Ooh, I would love that, yes. Piggy bank, I don't really care about. Right, let's go. Let's skedaddle skadoodle. I don't know where my secret rooms are. In fact, I sh when I've got notched axe, I have to try, don't I? I'm, I'm not actually certain where it is, I'll be honest, but I really should be at least trying to find where it is. Where you at? Secret room. Everybody, secret room. Do, do, do. I don't actually know where it is at all. I'm a bit confused. It's... We found second secret room. Have I already found it and I'm just being stupid? Um, I don't think so, right? Oh, it could be here, though. It could be here. Wait, it's not there? Okay. Hmm. This is a very odd one. I'm I'm really not sure where it is here. Where else could it be? It technically could be here, but I'm pretty sure we already checked this, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Hmm. I am confusion. Um Last resort really is here or here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where it is. I am completely confused by this. Could be here, maybe? No? Eh, who knows? Who the hell knows? Right, down we go. Library? Could be nice. Indeed it is. Um, do you know what? Let's just take guillotine. Why not? I always hate taking it. I never, ever, ever like taking it. But in this scenario, I think it's a bit better. Dollar's pretty good for us here. Although, no, River Greaves better first, at least. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mutant bomb's so good for us right now. Gonna be dropping bombs that are ghost bombs for us. That's awesome. Devil and fool. I love the fact that it paves over stuff like this for us. Gives us a lot more leeway in how we play. Scratch card. Unfortunately. Wait, did I just get a fire rate down from my scratch card? Is that just because my book ran out? I'm hoping that was because my book ran out. Yeah, I think it was just because my book ran out. First hat here is pretty interesting. Of course, the explosions that we get from what we're doing right now doesn't actually hurt us. But, it still means we can plant bombs very irresponsibly, which I like the idea of. There's that. We can smelt this onto us, yeah. Oh. Thank you. And then we can go over here. Grab the... What was it again? Was it the dollar? Or... Store credit? Store credit. Couldn't remember which one it was. Ow! Ooh, Jelly Belly saved me on that account there.
Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I really wish I didn't have Nugget, though. Like, it's not... Nugget's not bad, but it is kind of slightly ruining the vibe of this run a little bit here. We have, like, a pretty good setup going on, and it doesn't really work anymore. Temperance. Temperance. I might as well... Um, another blood donation machine spawned. Is that my trinket? IV bag. Oh, what's this? The unbeggar blood machine. Ooh, has a chance to not take take health from us. Hell yes. Right, go back and get the hearts that are over here. I'm trying to play this as best I can. I'm gonna pop this. Hey, <laughs> I'll take it. Should always be popped from that in secret rooms, really. Yeah, stop stealing my money, dude. Stop stealing my money. Mine. Ow! That was a that was a good one, Dominic. That was a very good one. I'll give you that. There goes the bombs. Pop that. Once we get the fire rate going, it's all over. Ooh. Cursed finger, but gold. Each cursed room spawns an extra red chest. Ah, that's... I don't think that's going to double up, to be honest. Right, with herming, this thing's pretty good. But yeah, you see, we're not really getting our money as often anymore, which is kind of the biggest shame of this all. It'd be cool to find a, a trinket or, or like, a, a, a consumable... That would let you remove an item from your run of your choice. It might be a little strong. But that'd be kind of a cool idea. Or like a machine, maybe. That costs like a certain amount to use. That'd probably be more, more reliable. You can just use it once and it costs like 15 cents. But you can pick an item to get rid of. Because obviously it wouldn't be useful every run. In fact, it'd rarely be useful. Uh, so we'll get fire right here. Excuse me? Is there a reason I can't buy this? Okay. Apparently, store credit doesn't work for some reason. That's odd. I've never had that happen before. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Right, let's keep on moving. Ooh, Belly Jelly just saved me there. Another blood bag. What I like to see. I love the speed. The speed's the most, most important thing for us here. Look at all the ghost bombs. I love it. We'd be getting so many more bombs, though. Ooh, void already. No thank you. No thank you on the void there, please. Not something I'm looking for right now. I keep forgetting to ask my question. Um, what's... Let's let's think of a good one. Let's think of a good one. Last episode was what's the most broken run you've had. This episode is um hmm. What's your favorite familiar? Like like one that isn't just like strong. Like twisted pair doesn't really count. Incubus doesn't really count because there's ones that increase the amount of fire. You, increase the amount you fire. I. Mine is kind of difficult. I've got quite a few different ones. From modding, I think I like Voodoo Baby a lot. The one that can trigger your on-hit effects. And that's a really cool one. Um, but base game? What is it from base game? Probably Blood Puppy. Just because I think he's just cute. And you can create some really funny situations. Right. At least we're killing stuff extremely quickly. <laughs> There's always that. And we have the glorious ability to be able to miss and it basically make no difference whatsoever. Which is just precious. Yeah, you need to... Oh my god. Thank god that can kill you while you're still got your head, head down. Because I 
bloody well hate these enemies. Good, good. Book of Despair, let's go. This has just been a fantastic job run. I mean, we started out pretty pretty set from the get-go. I love the fact that we started with Chaos as well. That's so good. Okay. Boss time. We're almost always out of money now, which is a shame, but it's kind of worth it for this setup. Grants an MT. Ooh, okay. That's kind of good. We're going to be getting damage ups per burn heart, I believe that said, or fire rate ups. Either way, I like it. I think it's damage up based on my current damage. Ooh, there's a. I was just about to say, there's a door that's open there. What's going on with that? Then I realized. You cheeky bitch. Ooh, hello. Uh, unfortunately, none of those are worth taking, really. Just walked straight into that, but it's okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting as well I've got camo undies. I mean, I know we're kind of wrecking stuff as we walk into the room, but we should at least try and get ourselves into a better position to use camo undies a little more. Uh, it's, sorry, to like get better damage out because of camo undies a little more. Like then, I, I, had, I had the time to kind of set myself up and position myself. It's good shit. I really like it. There goes my bombs. The soul hearts. I just, I love runs like this. I love them. From start to finish, they're just crazy. Skip out on that room now. <laughs> now I know what's in it. Batteries there to use our active. There you go. Just line the floor with everything. And get some bombs on you. <laughs> there you go. All my, all my ghosties. All my ghosties. Angel deal coming my way. Oh yeah, friend zone. Hell yeah. We'll definitely go for uh, a bit of hush here. I think Hush should be pretty darn easy for us, especially with like Jelly Belly and stuff as well. 120 volt, I guess. Unfortunately, not not great stuff here. Flatstone's interesting though. I don't know how flat. How is Flatstone plus this gonna work? This is gonna be weird, right? Health up. be weird. Okay, still can't use store credit for some reason. Strength is very good here. Yeah, like, wait a minute. I've got to check how flat stone works. Oh, oh no, it doesn't work. It only does the explosion and the initial bounce. It's still really good though. So we get a little more out of each shot now. It means our shots can miss, do the explosion and keep going essentially. But yeah, we can pop this now, which I think affects both phases. I'm going to be kind of sad if it doesn't, because otherwise I've used it a bit preemptively here. But either way, we've, we've, we've got this guy in the bag. Yeah, it affects him. Good. I think it's time-based. We get like 30 seconds or a minute of it. I can't tell if we're better off. Yeah, I think we're better off just missing. Like standing just far enough away to miss like we are now. So that we um we get the explosive damage and then the tier damage. I love these bouncing bombs here. It looks so good. Yeah, this damage is crazy. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill out. I'm just going to chill out. Do my thing over here. Let my ghosties handle everything. I wonder how many ghosts are stacked on top of him right now. Oh, dude. Do you know what I just realized? The explosions are knocking shots back. That's why we're so able to just sit here. The explosions are actually knocking shots away. What the hell? I think I just got a... What the hell gave me invincibility there? 
Did I walk into a rainbow heart or something? I never saw one. There's <laughs> just a ton of ghosts in but Yeah, look at all the shots getting knocked back here. It's perfect. Flatstone is actually really good with this. I'm glad it doesn't explode on every single shot. Works out quite nicely for us. Don't make me move, sir. Don't make me move. You hit me. How dare you? Don't worry about that. That was that was one of the easiest hush fights I've ever had. Go, my ghosty friends. Right, down we go. Yeah, so Flatstone's actually very, very good. And I mean, more so with Herming. Like, I think Herming's making it as good as it is, but still. I was really hoping that'd be an Emperor card. Yeah, just keep her going. Obviously, we're constantly going to be out of money, but at this point, it really doesn't matter too much to us. I thought I tried to go through that door and it didn't let me. I was like, wait a minute. But yeah, I, I thought I couldn't see a door, but apparently I am just blind. I walked right into that dude. Come on, dudes. Someone needs to make a mod that makes, like, hearse hats not work the way they do. I like them as enemies, but the fact that you've got to always wait to kill them is just frustrating. Someone needs to make, like, a mod that, like, if you haven't fired at them for more than, like, 0.2 of a second, they try and fire back. So you can actually get some hits on them without having to wait forever. Right, you are also dead. So many champions about. We end up getting a lot of chests in this next floor as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Just a little, little early there. Oh well. Beautiful. Oh, Flatstone might be one of my favorite things with this. This is hilarious. Flatstone plus Herming is just so cool. We still get the explosion, but we still hit the enemy. I think I got hit there, but Belly Jelly saved me. What up, feet of the devil? Right, Chaos, take me away. Give me an Arky. No, I, I don't actually want Arky, but you watch. Now that I don't want it, I'll get it. Electric Dice is intriguing. I think we take Electric Dice just because it's going to make Book of Despair kind of nuts. If it actually can activate multiple times, that is. It might not be able to. Okay. Two items here. Depression and the Ladder. Great, just just a great like pairing of items there. Ladders and depression, they go hand in hand. Don't you know it? Ooh, the doors on this floor are really cool. Just this floor in general is really cool. With the uh, the mod that I'm using, the backdrops mod, it's very good. money back. Why not? And again, God, the bombs. The bombs are just insane. I love it. I love the way the room like completely closes. Does it normally do that? I can. Ne I never remember, but it looks really good on uh, with these doors. The, with the animation for them opening is like really smooth. Opening and closing. Ooh, the skulls look really good on this floor too. I didn't realize it affected the skulls. They got like, you see, you see that? They got like, sort of a darkness in their eyes. Dude. Listen, this is what I mean, like, stop. I didn't shoot you, it was a random bomb. Why have you got to like, stay down for that dude? 
Let's take this fella on. Let's take him on. I really like these skulls. They look really good. I've had people ask me before why I don't use the Fiend Folio rocks. I do think the Fiend Folio rocks are good, but I feel like they're a little visually messy. Like, they, the, the sprites from them are really good and they're very fitting, but there's all the, the, the sprites compared to the base game rocks, there's a lot going on, a lot more intricate details. While and that, that, do, that does look nice, I feel like it doesn't quite fit the aesthetic of, of Isaac quite as much. But anyways, there's our victory. Absolutely smashed that run, thanks to seven Eden's blessings. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.